right. Hello. I'm just going to see if my stream is up. Oh, it is up. Okay. Perfect. Right. I'm just checking the volume levels now. Just give me a sec. So one of the problems I had last w in the last week's stream was that my live stream was too quiet. I'm currently using OBS, and I'll show you that in a sec. Um, of what I'm doing. Actually, I'll show you that now. Um, currently, you're seeing um, the Logic Pro project that I've, I've loaded up, but um, it, I'm actually in the OBS window, and you, but you just can't see that. So I'm going to open up the OBS window, and you should be able to see the OBS screen now. What I've done is um, connected my mixer to my laptop, and from my laptop, I am basically controlling the stream. Um, so to, to check, get the volume to be a bit louder, I'm going to go to advanced settings here. And yeah, my mixer audio, just turning that a lot. Uh, I tried about 10 dB before, so that should be, that was where I was at. Sorry if the stream just got really loud. Yeah, we can push that even more, I think. Um, 20 dis, oh, 20, d ooh. 20 dis, oh, 20 Doesn't sound that horrible, but, um, why don't we go 17 or something, and we'll see what happens. So, that should be a lot louder than, than what it was before. Than, than last week's stream, uh, and and so hopefully that sorts that out. Um, just looking at the levels, it looks horrible <laughs> with the the clipping here in OBS. But I think this is it doesn't it doesn't sound too horrible on my phone that I'm listening on, just to monitor the the live stream. Um, Okay, I'm going to switch back to Logic Pro, and there's a couple of things I also want to check. So one of the things was that was wrong was um, the live stream being too quiet last week, um, and also panning. Um, I didn't realize that the panning wasn't working, so left and right wasn't working on the live stream last week. So I'm going to try and do that. I've, I've literally changed nothing from the setup. The only thing I've changed is I've con I'm connecting it now to my... Um, laptop and I'm using OBS to stream the audio and I've got two level meters here so if I switch to OBS here I've got two level meters here that are clipping all the time unfortunately but um, yeah so I think on my phone I couldn't adjust which uh, channel was going to the live stream because I wanted both channels left and right but I think my phone was just only allowing the left channel to go to the live stream for some reason but yeah, it, it should be sorted now. So I'm going to check that with this Logic project I've got. I'm kind of, I've connected my uh, MacBook to to the uh, CQ eighteen T with just a USB cable, um, and it's set to I think it's still set to uh, stream mode. So if I go to config um, USB, yeah, so stream mode is set to stereo. Um, and so you should be able to still hear everything like last week. So I'm playing the project now, hopefully you can hear that.
So that's just the drums being panned left and right. So if we go here. So the, pan, the drums are slightly panned to the left now and also the right. Hopefully you can hear that in your headphones. clipping in OBS <laughs> um, so I think I'll be surprised if the stream isn't all just clipped so sorry about that if it is all clipped but um, yeah <laughs> okay um, I'll just explain explain what I've done with OBS here in in these scenes so that um, it's a bit more obvious as to what I'm doing I've got two scenes set up one is for logic um, and one for OBS in, inside the logic sort of preset here, um, I've set up the mixer input. So if I've just pressed plus and then selected uh, audio input capture, and I've selected CQ mixer CQ 18 t on that. The other one I've done is the Mac OS screen capture, and inside this Mac OS screen capture, I'll show you um, what you can do. Is oh, I've just ruined everything. Give me a sec. Right inside the um, OBS screen capture, you can select it to be a windowed uh, application capture instead of the whole screen. And that's what I've done. And that's why you can't really see, that's why there's all these windows um, shrinking and, and, and increasing in size basically. Because um, I've actually got way more windows open than, than just OBS and Logic, but it, OBS is not showing that on the live stream, which is really cool. And I've just set up a background um, at the back just so that it doesn't look too boring when I sort of try and switch applications. Um, in the other scene, I've basically just got logic. And um, yeah, it's just the same thing, just the background and um, logic application capture set up and the mixer audio. So you can hear that in both scenes as well. Um, yeah. We'll just, I guess, end the stream now because that's all I wanted to check. Hopefully, this is coming through across the um, the live stream. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I've been up to this week. Um, and yeah. Oh, we've got we've got some people in the chat. Oh, we've got Zilia and Zavina in the chat. Hello. Amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, it's it's apparently my levels levels are balanced, so that's really good. Amazing, awesome. All right, I'm gonna end the stream now. So um, there will be a, a another stream where I try and incorporate multiple cameras and and you know try and do that kind of stuff within these scenes. I'm still learning these scenes myself, so I'm gonna um, if I go to OBS here, I'm gonna learn you know try and um, get some scenes more more scenes going so I can show my piano playing and and uh, working in Logic and stuff. I think it'd be quite cool to sort of do some mi some mixing sessions on logic just because it's it's super easy now to you know make decisions um without worrying about how it's going to come across in the stream um and and that's really cool so um i'm going to let this track finish playing and then i'll sort of end the stream here we go hope you enjoy